Hello and welcome back. This is Ray from ExploreRay.com and today I'm going to do something a little bit different from what I usually do. I have been had some videos about uh, what camera to bring, uh, how to use different types of camera systems. Today I'm going to do the exact opposite. Uh, I am in a hotel room again, I'm back in Oslo, I'm on work, but today I'm just going to talk about if I just choose one camera and one lens, what do I bring? So here we go. It's just as easy as also as it's easy. Okay. This is what I bring. Uh, first off, I've talked about it a couple of times before, and I think it's kind of important to me. This is the R strap. I use, uh, I have some R straps in different sizes and shape shapes, but I like to use that um, because uh, it gives my the mobility I need. I can just keep my camera down beside me and it's fairly safe. In addition, as I showed you before, uh, you just hook it up to the mounter and it works. But okay, that's the thing. Here you can see, here I found my camera and <laughs> this shouldn't come as a surprise that this is the combo, but this is my Canon 5D Mark III, of course, that is maybe Besides, of course, the 1DX, best camera Canon has. It's a, it's a pro or some pro camera. Uh, it just takes spectacular images. It's fast. It's nice. It's a top end DSLR. Um, I really enjoy it. And, but that's not important. It's what I put on. And what I put on is this. This is the 24 to 70. Uh, focal length and why have I chose the 24 to 70 focal length as you can see it extends a little bit um, is that um, most images I take I take around especially in in city scenarios and these kind of things I take around 35 to 50 millimeters and and in some circumstances, it's nice to have a little bit of wide angle. Um, and um, the 24 millimeter, for most purposes, is wide enough. As you know, I praised the 12 to 24 millimeter, but that is because I want to do something a little bit different. I want a little bit different point of view. But then, when I'm taking normal sized looking images, and I'm don't, I don't have the need for doing extreme landscapes or I have need of of getting extremely close without getting close I don't need a telly and um, 70 millimeter is is quite narrow enough and 24 is quite wide enough so the 24 to 70 is a magnificent focal length it, it sums up mostly what I need so with this uh, this lens said I can do most things I do. Um, if I talk about the combo itself, of course, this is a photographer's workhorse. Um, and the, the version I have here is the 24-70 fixed aperture. Um, it has, I think it has, I, yeah, it has a... Uh, no, it doesn't have IS, but okay. Yeah, it's a it's a very nice build. It's a good build quality. If you look a little bit on on the lens itself, you can see it's rubberized over here, so it's actually water sealed. And at least I like to be able to take it outside, have it in snow, have it in rain, and um, and actually uh, dump worry about using the DSLR to that extent. So, to sum it up, um, 
if I just choose one lens um, and one camera, one DSLR to bring, this is my weapon of choice. The 24-70 on my Canon 5D Mark III. Okay, thank you, and if you like what I do, please subscribe to my YouTube or go to my blog, exploreray.com. Take care and have an excellent evening. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.